If you're looking for a greenhouse to have in a tight space, um, this is a really good option for you. A small space, this is going to give us and it could give you a lot of growing space and opportunity for seeds and for cuttings and a lot of other yep, things. Which is exactly what we're using ours for. Hey guys, hey Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden and we're super excited for today's project. Yep, yep. We're going to put together a temporary greenhouse Yay. and you get to watch us do it. I know, I cannot wait to put this together. We really missed our greenhouse at our former house. Yep, so you're going to be able to watch us put it together step by step. We're going to explain what's going on and how we're doing everything. So so let's do it. Okay, Sean, what do we hey. have there? All right, so what, what we have here that? is we have we have Vivasun. It's a greenhouse. Oh, it's it's 57 inches, like deep, 57 inches wide, and then it's going to be 77 inches tall. And this is what it's going to look like. We're so excited for this, you guys. Pretty cool. So yeah, so there's some shelving. There's going to be some uh, yeah. some ability to put some shelves in here. That's all built into this remember. kit. Are they metal shelves? I forgot. Um, so it's I like what we ordered. it's basically like the bones of the shelf, but it's not the surface. I don't think. But we're going to find out because we've never we put one of these together. This yet. So this is the kit. It came from I think we bought it on Amazon. I think we bought. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a link down below yeah. if you guys want to check so, it out. So anyway. It does look like the ends open here, but we swear we have not. Oh, oh it's still taped right there. I guess. Yeah, yeah. We definitely haven't. We've had this for a couple months, actually. Well, and it got it had a little rough of a time getting here with the delivery people. We won't name who it was, but it was a little rough. That's so, true. It was kind of yeah. yeah a so, squished. so what our plan is, you guys, is to go ahead and open up and just kind of like get all the contents out of the box and start checking out the parts, and making sure we have everything. Yep, yep. And then we'll show you where we're going to set it up. Now again, this is my mom's yard and she's graciously loaned us space. So we are really excited to get this set up. Yep. Yep. This is uh we need to we need something. We need something. And we can take it with us or we can leave it here. We haven't decided yet. We're we're not gonna worry about that nope. yet. No, nope. that is a decision for another day. Exactly. So Okay. All right. So Reveal let's open this bad boy up. Cool. So I think that oh, is cool. okay. the covering. And then Look at all this. Neat. Is there a supply list somewhere? Probably. Yeah, somewhere. But I just, just start setting stuff yeah. out here. Here's all our there's all our pieces we're gonna connect all these tubes oh, with. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, I just saw something. This is neat. Okay. So before we do that, there's all oh, there's that. A booklet. There's our shelves. Oh, there's the shelves. Cool. So we, we did get shelves with it. Sometimes, sometimes you see them in the pictures and sometimes, you know, you think, well, it's in there. It's in with the kit and then it's, it's, it either is or it isn't. Sometimes you get a surprise and here we go. Here we, we got go. a surprise. Hey. So, all right. So, cool. Yes. So, what do we have here? Vivison. So, and here's the dimensions to 48 Eight by 4.8 by 6.4 so it's just over six feet so that'll be good I'll be able to walk in without stooping yeah that's nice so that'd be good nice and tall yep so okay so here's our supply list right here in the parts I'll count those out in a minute okay so this is how we're gonna put it together okay, and all these see. numbers oh, wow. correspond like IKEA kit. yeah so all these numbers correspond over here to where they are put together so wow okay yeah, pretty cool this is a totally different type of greenhouse for us, right? But this is, a, what, the third greenhouse we've built now? Yeah, that is. Yeah, you're right. So we built our own greenhouse, and we have a, a video on that, um, just walking through. Not actually how to build it, but um, kind of walking through and how we built it real quick. And we'll put a link for that And how we down used below. it, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we used it for many we years. Used it for really everything. cool. Um, and then we have a video about us putting together a kit greenhouse for my parents uh, back in 2020. And so... Um, yeah, we'll have a link for that too. And then here's our third one. Now this cool. is this is a little bit different of a kit. My parents' one is all fiberglass, and this is definitely not that. So this is going to be fun though. If you're looking for a greenhouse to have in a tight space, um, this is a really good option for you because it's only 57 inches wide, 57 inches deep, and 6.4 in or 6.4 feet. Uh, tall. So in a small space, this is going to give us and it could give you a lot of growing space and opportunity for seeds and for cuttings and a lot of other yep, things. Which is exactly what we're using ours for. Yep. Now, before we get into all the directions, let's go check out the site where we're going to put oh, it and sure. show them where that's going to go. Totally. All right, you guys. So right over here in the corner, we've got a perfect spot. And what we did is we built it up with a bunch of mulch, probably what, four inches, three, four, five inches of mulch. Oh, yeah. And because we have a lot of mulch to spread around anyway. So we're going to use this kind of as the base 
Um, we're going to probably put a tarp down, right, Sean? Yep. We were thinking of yep. having yep. A, a kind of the ground just be tarp. And then, so basically it's going to go all the way back to the fence, kind of along the fence line here. This will be the back. It'll come out to about here. Yep. Right? That's too far. Probably right about here. Yep. There's there's some pre-marked lines. Hopefully they're still kind of there. Kind of. I see this one. So let's go. Yeah, like this. there you go. Should be about, this will kind of be the front. So I think we're we're thinking we're going to need to move a little mulch around to kind of even it out a little better. But it's going to be like a perfect spot for it. It'll mm -hmm. be protected by this fence. It'll be protected by this side of the garage yep. from weather and whatnot. And yep, and we'll be able to do tie downs against either the fence oh. or the garage here in case of high winds. Good call. Maybe the tree. Maybe the tree too. Yeah, yeah. we'll see. Going to have to prune some of those limbs off right there. So the greenhouse is over six feet tall, so I'm 5'11", so it's probably going to stand maybe this high. Yep. Not probably, so you yep. will. it will be kind of visible over the back and, of the fence here. And I was just thinking the opening, okay. we're probably going to have to stoop down a little bit Yeah. when we uh, go in because the peak, I think, is 6.4 feet, but that doesn't include the, the opening. That's a good point. So. But what do you guys think? This is a good spot for it, right? Yeah, I We think have kind so. of our old, all our stuff along the side mm -hmm. here, so. Yep. It's kind of, yeah, don't look over there. <laughs> okay. So guys, right now, so you've seen us unpack this. You've seen us go over and show you where it's going to be placed. Um, we're going to follow the directions here. We're going to start at the base and yeah, we're going to put the base of this here. together uh, out here. And then once we get this base uh, built, we're going to walk it over and place it down in its spot. Nice. And then we'll build from the base up. Yeah, so, I like that plan. So that, there you go. So right. just got to get into it. Let's put our little IKEA uh, greenhouse together here. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like from the directions here, just to build the base out flat, it's going to be on the parts list here. They're all numbered. It's going to be fives, sixes, and some threes. But that's it. Okay. All these other, all these others, will wait until we start building up. So yeah. So I just got to find the fives, sixes, and threes, and then yeah. We'll... Let's see if they're labeled. We didn't look that closely yeah. at these yet. Yeah. So right. we found some small numbers, right, on those packages? We, we did, and so the plan is right now is we're going to build the base out flat, and so we need to know which numbers of these pieces we need to find. So it's going to be number fives, number sixes, and number threes, according to this picture here. So we need to find <laughs> which one's which. So we did find on some of these, there's a number five up here on this packaging. So that's good, right up there. And then on these guys... And I just saw it here. They have fives written right on or stamped okay, right on the metal that. pieces. You guys want to check these out? So oh yeah. See look that, that right there. Yep. So there's fives. Okay. Here's fives. So we got, found our fives. Good. Maybe now that. we need our sixes and our threes. So we found the threes. Um, found the threes. They're not stamped, but they have they have stickers on them for three. Okay. So that was nice. So. So far, pretty easy. Not bad. So, yeah. five sixes and threes. Let's do this. We're going to need some of these bad boys. So just kind of stand over here and watch Sean build it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, so looks, we're going to need easy, actually. one. As long as we have, we have all the parts. So that's a middle. That's a middle. I'll need. So let's see. So these are, I want to say B's for the, for the joints here. So oh, okay. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight B's. Are these numbered? Yep, they're lettered. Oh, Not good. Numbered, lettered. So B, B, just make sure. B, B. You can never be too careful. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh -huh. Corny jokes. They have begun. Never too early. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. That's what we need. So guys, here we are, we got our base, this cool. is it. And uh, one thing we forgot that we should have and that there's no listing in these directions, by the way, for the tools we need. So that's kind of lame, but whatever. Um, we should have had a rubber mallet because that would have helped a little bit with ma making sure all these are connected and put in all the way. Each, each pipe slipped into its joint properly, but that's okay. 
we can bring it next time we come maybe yeah. and like secure it a little better if you want totally so here's our base okay. now um we need to get this over there um what we also need to do is lay down we're going to do a tarp yeah at the base of this so this will sit on top of the tarp so it's a nice clean surface and uh we're not dealing with any mulch or any weeds coming up or anything so you know so we go so, find our tarp yeah so let's go let's go do that okay so first stop, we're back over here at the site and Sean's kind of leveling out the mulch. Just moving a little couple of pieces over, getting a little bit more level before we lay the, uh, before we lay the tarp down. Yeah, I didn't think it. Oh, there's a tarp. I'm wanting to move that anyway. It just looks... It's a little beat up. over there. Hey, look at all our flowers. Yep. All right, coming back around. Pretty, pretty flowers. There's lots of deadheading to do. That smells earthy. Yep, very earthy. It's been sitting over there for quite a while. Yeah. Quite a while. Okay, so what are you doing there, Sean? So I'm going to cut off these uh, lower limbs down here. These actually, they're like, they're almost like sprouts coming off this tree. It's kind of weird, it's but really these, all these, uh, all these guys, all these, uh, these limbs coming off here, they're actually uh, growing from points where there used to be uh, larger limbs and this tree was limbed up. A long time ago and now these guys are starting to pop out wow. um, to regrow the tree wants to regrow Ooh. these but it's we need to cut these really off so they don't grow into and over on top of uh, our new greenhouse that's going right here so yeah. i'm just trimming these off all right you're using your corona saw that we love yes that looks really a lot easier than trying to get in there with loppers oh yeah yep and this is uh i think this is the 10 inch it's the razor tooth saw it's awesome. It cuts both pulling and pushing. So it's a great saw to have. Not all saws do that, by the way. So. Wow. Yeah. That's easy. Okay. Yeah. This, this saw goes through things kind of like butter. So. Butter. Like butter. So we need to move these off, cut these off anyway, because of the fence. Yeah. We're so. in the middle of a painting project. So actually that would be helpful. That. All right, I'm going to step back here and we'll take a look because we got the tarp ready. So this ground layer is ready to go. All, All right, right. What's so next? here's our base. We're heading over. All right, let's do this. Yep. See, he doesn't need my help. Okay. There we go. There's no way to tell where the front or the back is, right? It's just either that side well, or that e side. Exactly, yep. It's either this side or that side. Okay. And our shelves are gonna be on the, these sides right nice. here. So, yep, just need to kind of clean this up a little bit after our cutting and... So I'd love to have less tarp showing, but we probably need it to extend over the yeah, edges, have, right? Yeah, having this footprint is important too because it's almost like setting down. It's like building a regular greenhouse. On your footprint where you're going to build your greenhouse you want the base of gravel or concrete or whatever it needs to go out further than the actual structure so you have more stability and it's easier to keep clean it's easier to contain the whole structure and not have things come into it or grow underneath so this just gives us a really good uh literal foundation to then build from so guys so what we have here is we've got um we've got our base down tarps down as you can see now we just are going to start building up i know this will there, be fun there's the front of it there's going to be the front of the greenhouse. Here's going to be the back. Here's our sides. All the parts over here off to the side. Yep. And so we're going to need number twos. Oop, it looks like number right two here. pieces. And they're all going to be coming up. These that's, are all twos. That's how this is supposed to be built up. It's just literally all twos going up, up, up. And so we're just going to start laying the number two pipes in here and start going up and we'll do layer by layer awesome and that's going to be it this is really easy to put together once we get it well of course i've just been watching you build it but it looks you know it's just snapped together yep right? real simple yep so okay, cool so here we go
Okay, you guys, come and check out our new Yay! greenhouse. That Look was probably the greenhouse. easiest greenhouse we've ever put together. It is. And the smallest, but this is perfect for what we need. So come on in here. It's actually already really, really warm in here. So we've got a zip up right at the front where the door is and it ties at the top, which is nice. So this is all secure. There's some air vent uh, windows that you can, uh, looks like they're just Velcro, just kind of roll up on the outside. We've got six, no, sorry, eight shelves. So that's cool. They're, you know, they're not like super industrial strength, you know. Yeah, but when you put some weight on them, yeah. they'll be fine. They're not made for really heavy, heavy things. No, definitely but not. If we have heavy plants and pots or just pots, we can just put them on the ground. I know. I like that we have and some then, open space. And then we can do it down here too. But yeah, cuttings yep. or seed trays, perfect. Yep. This definitely will not be enough space for all the plants we need to overwinter inside, but we have my mom's garage that we can, she has some shelving lined up in there already that we can use. So we will, um, I'm really excited that we have a space now to kind of Me too. protect some of our stuff. So this is, this is going to be great. Yay! Yeah, yeah. It, put, it took us under a half hour to put together. Yep. So guys, what do you think? We're, we got our greenhouse done. This was a fun build. I know. High Woo! Five. Yeah. It's so fun to have this space available. Now this is a really cute little kind of petite greenhouse, but this will work for what we need just temporarily until we yep. rent our property and build very large greenhouses in the future. Yep, totally. Yay. So guys, if you have any comments or questions about what we did here today, um, definitely leave them down below. We love hearing from you. And make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you get updates on all our latest videos. Yeah, and thank you guys so much for being here and for watching. We hope this was fun and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys. It's getting really warm in here. Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>